your energy forecast for Friday, April 12th. So today we have the moon in Gemini all day. So we have a lot of chatter going on in our headspace. We are definitely very curious about particular questions, paths, plans, strategies that popping off in our head, but aren't as clear as we would prefer them to be. The moon in Gemini definitely has us looking outside of ourselves for stimulation. We have a lot popping off in our inner realm, thoughts, emotions, new ideas, new path, new plan, new strategy. However, we're in research mode. We have to gather more information before we're going to feel comfortable enough to align with a choice, with a decision. And we are definitely pushing the boundaries of our curiosity at this point. And the moon in Gemini is really going to help us formulate the right kind of questions in order to get the right kind of answers in order to be fully informed before that decision point arrives. So there are 10 different aspects taking place here today. All 10 involve the moon, which means that this is an emotional refinement day. But because the moon is in Gemini energy, again, headspace, this is an opportunity to get our heart and our head in alignment and on the same page. The moon in Gemini going to make a positive interaction with Neptune in its place of power in this Pisces energy. This is a beautiful interaction because it means that we are in alignment with our higher selves. We're in alignment with our intuition. We have new ideas, new creative force energies popping into our mental plane that we get to actually add logic and practicality to that we get to bring into our mental plane and again start formulating the right kinds of questions to get the right kinds of answers on how it is that we're going to bring some of these goals some of these visions to life the moon is going to get into the boxing ring square off with saturn the lord of karma ruling over roles responsibility system structures foundations and in this pisces energy we're looking to collapse the old belief system the old round the old reality that the old identity had built had created in order to clear the space for us to build something new this particular energy is definitely going to weigh very heavily on our headspace, on our heart space, the roles, the responsibilities, our to-do list weighing very heavily on our shoulders. We're kind of conflicted because, of course, there are things that we want to explore. There are things that we want to bring to life. There are things that we want to build upon. However, our obligations, our commitments in this present moment are preventing us from actually exploring these new adventures, these new quests. And that can definitely put us in a little bit of a serious, somber, grumpy kind of attitude. The moon is then going to sextile the true note in this Aries energy. This is going to be a good energy for us to decide where it is that we would like to go from here. Yeah, we do have obligations and commitments that we have to offer in, in that we have to honor in this current moment. However, we are kind of projecting ourselves in a futuristic reality as well. We're trying to gain a vision on what it is that we actually want to end up with. We understand in this Gemini energy that we have to gain a bigger, broader perspective of where it is that we would like to be in order to break it into smaller, more manageable pieces. We understand that the smaller details make up the greater, grander whole. And so this particular energy definitely pressurizing our mental plane to figure out a visual in order for us to again add that logic and practicality on how it is that we plan to actually get there. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring square off with Mars. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires. Also in this Pisces energy, trying to get emotionally, intuitively, spiritually in alignment with the new truth, with the new mission, with the new purpose. This is definitely going to ruffle our feathers. This isn't a good jam. We aren't going to feel good about this. There is going to be a high level of restlessness, of the anxiety, of even anger and agitation at this point. Point. We want to get started. We want to take action. We want to make moves. But of course, we're not being kind of supported at this particular point in time in actually doing that. So we have all of these different ideas that we want to explore. We have all of these different paths and plans and strategies that we want to jump into. But of course, we have to build that focus, that target, that goal, that inner fire, that inner inspiration to actually have us align and adhere with the path, with the plan, with the strategy that are going to bring some of these goals, some of these visions to life. 
The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself. In this Aquarius energy, we get some air on air action here. This is going to have a major impact on us seeing things very differently. A different perspective is emerging, different thoughts, different ideas are emerging. Not only are we kind of seeing different aha moments coming out of some past situations and challenges, but we're also understanding how we can make those adjustments in this present moment to kind of iron out those bugs in moving forward. Again, may I remind you that a lot of the answers in which we're looking for in a futuristic realm are found in the past. Mercury is still retrograde. Mercury rules over the Gemini energy that the moon is in. So there is a lot of looking back, a lot of aha moments, a lot of perspective and understanding shifts taking place while looking back that has a major effect on this particular moment that of course will help us as we plan to move forward. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy for us to actually feel like we are kind of, you know, moving towards something new. The Chiron energy is the wounded healer. This is a positive interaction. So we're focused more on the growth, on the healing, on the repairment, on this new identity, on feeling comfortable and familiar with kind of inviting new habits, new routines, new ways of looking things into our realm. This is a point of growth. This is a point of healing, especially we're opening up our mind space is concerned. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction first with Jupiter, then with Uranus, both in this Taurus energy. The moon interacting with Jupiter, definitely opening up our mind space, opening up our heart space to explore different options, different opportunities. We're feeling optimistic and confident about the ability for us to create our own path, create our own outcome, create our own destiny. And the interaction with Uranus that shortly there follows is going to give us an aha moment, an epiphany on what it is that we could do differently, new ideas to explore, new concepts to actually research. This is all building towards the moon sextiling with Mercury. Mercury is ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves retrograde in this Aries energy. We just hit the halfway point here yesterday with Mercury conjunct the sun. So we are kind of at the point where we're going to be a little bit more present. We're going to start kind of venturing into what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to explore and research moving forward. Now, this particular energy, the moon sextiling Mercury, this is our heart and our head getting on the same page. First of all, it puts us in a situation where we understand the information that we're lacking and where it is that we have to kind of explore, research, and gather more info before we're going to feel confident and content to actually take action and make moves. Again, we're not in the time for taking action and making moves. This is an inner realm building with optimism, with confidence, with clarity, so that when we're gifted with that green light go ahead towards the end of April, we're going to know exactly what we need to do, what we have to take action upon, what we actually have to execute. Be very open to having conversations, especially with like-minded people, like-minded concepts, like-minded topics and themes. The interaction when the moon is in Gemini is very important because we can get some light bulb moments from just having very random casual interactions with the people around us. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Gemini energy, making a very beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Aries energy. So I love this energy because we have air and fire working together. And that is inspiration. That is creativity. That is solutions. That is problem solving, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Again, Venus, she's had a change of heart. She has a change in her worth and her values and her priorities. She understands who and what needs to stay, needs to go. She is very straightforward, very blunt with what it is that she's asking for, requesting, if you will, from the people around her. She wants to build in safety and security, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. And this particular interaction not only has our heart and our head in alignment, but it actually is pushing us to realize what it is that we actually have to verbalize, what we have to bring out of our heart space, put into words and actually share with the people, with the world around us. Oh,